Welcome to today's episode. Today I'm going to talk about why you should stop believing in yourself. Now, let me explain exactly what I mean by this. Most people don't get to where they want to go or sometimes they don't even start because deep down they just don't believe 100% in themselves. They don't believe that they can do it. But I'm going to share a little bit of a secret with you. You don't have to believe in yourself in order to take action. You don't have to believe in yourself in order to take action. Most people think that they have to believe in themselves before they start going down this road. And I'm going to be honest with you. Most of the time, especially in the very beginning, you're not going to believe in yourself. You're going to doubt yourself all of the time. You're going to doubt your skills. You're going to doubt your mindset. You're going to doubt the path that you're going down, the, the, the road that you're traveling. You're going to every single thing you could possibly think about. If you're going down a journey, if you're following your passion, if you're becoming an entrepreneur, if you're starting a job, most of the time, you're not going to believe in yourself. The only thing that's going to keep you going is your excitement for the goal that you're going towards. Most of the time, you're not going to believe in yourself. Let me tell you where belief comes from. Belief comes from results. But the problem with that is that you can't get results unless you take action. You can't get results unless you take action. And therefore, you can't believe in yourself until you get results. So therefore, most of the time when you're in the very beginning stages of whether it's a business or whether it's you're following your passion or you're trying out in a new sport or you're starting to play a new instrument or whatever it might be, you're not going to believe in yourself 100%. But that doesn't matter because you have to get the results in order to get the belief. So therefore, you don't have to believe in yourself in order to go out and take action. You don't have to believe in yourself in order to push yourself to go towards whatever it is that you want. What's going to keep you going is this. Clear goals, number one, and number two is a strong why behind those goals. That's what's going to get you going in the very beginning, not your belief in yourself. If you have a goal that is so clear and you're so driven to get there, then belief doesn't actually matter. Belief doesn't matter at all. If I told you that you, know, you had to make a million dollars this year, you probably wouldn't believe in yourself too much. If I said, you have, what's the percentage chance I always say these on webinars when I'm with people. What's the percentage chance of you making a million dollars legally this year? Most people say, oh, it's, it's 5%, it's, it's 10%, it's 0.1%, it's 0%. And then I say, what's the percentage chance of you making a million dollars this year if your entire family's life is on the line? And everybody says it's 100%. And what that shows you is that you don't have to have a belief in yourself that you can make a hundred or that you can make a million dollars. What you have to have is a strong why towards that goal, why you're going towards that goal, why you're going to push yourself to get there, right? If your entire family's life is on the line, you don't have to believe in yourself at all. All you have to do is just take action and wake up every single day and eventually you will get there. But that also shows you how much we restrict ourselves when the only thing that changes between 30 seconds of, oh, there's no way I can make a million dollars this year, and I will 100% make a million dollars this year, is not the belief that somebody has in themselves, it's the why behind what it is that they're going for. So when you're new at something, when you're trying something new, when you're becoming an entrepreneur, when you're leaving your job, when you're becoming a parent, all of these things, you're not gonna believe in yourself, but you don't have to believe in yourself in order to create action. In order to get belief, you have to get results. But in order to get results, you have to create action. Therefore, your first job, more than anything else, is to get your butt off the couch, realize that believing yourself means absolutely nothing. All you have to do is just keep going and just keep getting up and keep pushing. Eventually, you're gonna start to get results. And eventually, you're gonna start to believe in yourself more. But that Belief is not a prerequisite for getting up and doing it. And that's the one thing that you have to realize. You don't have to believe in yourself in order 
to be successful at something.